What if I told you that you could fully annex Ming in one war? By stacking province war score costs using ideas, government reforms, and Casus Belli, we can get war score costs of each province down to below 1%, meaning you could take as many provinces as you want. There's a rumor going around that you're looking for quality daily E4 content. If so, you've come to the right place, so why not subscribe? After all, if we hit 100,000 subscribers, we'll fly out to Ulm IRL to film an E4 themed video. Welcome to the nation of the meta slaves. <laughs> Uh, ignore the Mongol culture that was left over from testing. So what we're doing here today is, uh, make no mistake, this is not an EU4 challenge. This is a real life challenge. This is a challenge of me versus greed. Because today I've reduced the province war score cost to pretty much nothing. <laughs> this province right here, if I were to take Beijing, it would cost me 0.8%. I don't think it goes any lower. Every single province should cost me 0.8%. This is as low as it goes. And technically, I could get another 25% by being the Age of Reformation, but again, I don't think it goes lower than 0.8%. I think that's a hard limit. So how have I done this? Well, let me uh, show you around the, the nation of the Meta Slaves. Firstly, we are Shia, and that's important when considering this. We are a Shechdom. I felt that the entire reform progress tree, selecting the specific ones, like one state under God, which gives us minus 30% war school costs against other religions, combined with a little unassuming one called open public elections, which actually does this, which I've never seen before, because I've never done this before. But you can either have the militarists or the theocrats. If you have the militarists in power, you get another minus 15%. Then in my ideas, I've got Deus Vult, which gives us, I think, a 25% reduction on all provinces. Minus 25% is just in our ideas, and also province war school costs, minus 20% is already there, as well as minus 20% from flexible negotiation, so we're strong and we're flexible. I don't see any other sheer nations around here, so this should be pretty interesting. Oh god, and I completely- oh god, I almost, almost forgot. Uh, we also have Malta, uh, and we're about to level this up to number 3, which gives us minus 15% war school costs against other religions, and Mecca as well, which starts at level 2, but we're upping to level 3 which gives us another 10%. This is further modified by minus 135%. The total war score cost of Lan Zhang is 12% war score. I have also um, started myself off as a tributary of Ming. I want to say I made an issue with this location I picked. I picked the tricky one on purpose. It is going to be the fact that we're completely surrounded. Enforced religious unity. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it's sort of our entire thing. Hey, the monument in Malta. People from all over our nation gather before its imposing figure. I, somehow, I don't think that they do. I think they're going to be firmly the Mongol people of... of Fitz. <laughs> Some of these guys don't know Europe exists and I'm like, I'm just... I swear, guys, I'm not lying to you. There is a whole other continent out there. All right, boys, straight in. That's unfortunately high morale. Can I get an advisor or something? I'm going to bite the bullet and get that really expensive discipline guy. I feel like that was the right decision. I feel like that was definitely the right decision. I do not think we'd have won that without the discipline guy. The fact this guy has a fort is really gonna screw me over here. <laughs> oh, that's not looking good. Uh, hey guys. Hey buddies. If you could just not for a second, that'd be great. Okay. That was a good stack wipe. I'm risking bankruptcy this early. Right, so rather frustratingly, I managed to hit the hotkey to, uh, to stop and start recording. Basically, we're in a world of trouble, boys. Uh, we've won our war, but we're uh, we're almost bankrupt. I've just taken out some burger loans. We were considering going to war with Hasemwi, but unfortunately, I have debt problems. <laughs> also, uh, I completely forgot we have Mongol missions, <laughs> so we should go claim the Khanate. Uh, we need to always go for the militarist candidate, despite the fact that, oh man, a good way to make new faraway friends is Karadel, who are here, versus our neighbors, obviously, of Medina. I gotta be- I gotta hope that, like, Aragorn doesn't attack me. <laughs> Alright, they won't come in. My troops aren't ready. I can't let an opportunity like that go. Do we go straight for the cap- I suppose we go straight for the capital. It's probably- oh, for God's sake. Alright, sweet. 191 days that took. Honestly, I think we should be able to win this battle. Especially if I get another 10 prestige. Yeah, okay, sweet. Now, don't fall. Come on! Alright, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right, that is a very good start. They'll just give me provinces. Sweet. Look at this. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to do that because of the aggressive expansion, but... Technically, if I just left it with one province, he'd accept everything. At 43% and medium war exhaustion. He's like, mm, I'm on the fence about it, but you make a good deal. This, this is a genius idea. This might be the best idea I've ever come up with. 
Okay, so the coalition's gonna be on me no matter what I do, right? I'm gonna have to fight the coalition. There's nothing, I mean, there's no way around it. All right then, buddies, let's, let's, let's do this, let's tango. I'll get under 100% 100, uh, 100 overextension. Other than that, screw you dudes. Give me the 400 ducats. And, I don't know, war reparations, no? All right, fine, yeah, sorry, of course. I'll have half your nation, but war reparations, that would be awful. It's gonna seem really odd, but I need to declare war against Pegu and trigger this half the coalition. Aggressive expansion impact minus 5%, you're a little late. All right, let's get the free company, and we're gonna try and take his capital because if it was a coalition war they'd never come out so this way i can knock down the war enthusiasm in two separate coalition wars that's the hope that should give me enough war score to peace out i can even take some money so that's good that's that's half the coalition gone the issue is the second half i can't declare war on any of them they just have to declare war on me and i think they're they're going to aren't they as if by magic all right, who's, who is it? Mang Fuang. I, I don't know if I'll be able to win this one, boys. We're going to do what I call defensiveness and hope, which basically means we're in a siege race. But again, it's a coalition war, so I don't know if we're going to be able to do too much. Oh my god, okay. Right, clear them up. Clear them up. Send them from our lands. The infidels. Kick them out. Okay, we've got to pick up every little bit of war school from battles possible. Like, this is kind of crucial. I think we're taking this one province. Oh god, my guy's dead. And I have to take this guy. Okay. I mean, he might be a better leader than a 2-6. I don't think so. I mean, he's, he's not. <laughs> well, he's got a 2 siege, I suppose. I don't know how many were outnumbered by, lads. This is, this is not looking good, I'll be honest. There's one thing I could do here to try and get enough morale. And that's fight this battle first. So we're going to do that and just hope that this capital holds. Okay, come on. Come this way. Come this way. Come on. Come down here. Come down here. And that's a battle one. And now we try and fight this and hope that some of them go to the capital. They don't. Why is the AI playing so smart? You better not win that just as I arrive. I think I'll get there before. Did they just... They just didn't fight it. They just left. Oh my god. We're very fortunate there, lads. I do not know what the AI was doing. We're losing 20 ducats a month. we got to get some war score going. Come on. Come on, just peace out. It's minus 13 away. Just a couple more battles. Let's go. We might actually get away with this, boys. We might get away with this. They're on medium. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll take whatever you got. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get rid of this Ayutaya fort, despite the fact it was super useful. Uh, I can't afford it. People seem to get upset at me a lot when I delete forts. But you gotta understand, I am an incredibly high-risk, high-reward player. <laughs> Ming, is, Ming is exploding. Ming is actually exploding. Do you think they could pull out of this? I mean, they should have the troops. They should be able to clean it up, theoretically. I mean, god, if I could pull out of my spin, everything's possible. I've got eight loans and I can have 21. So I'm like mildly the way towards bankruptcy, but not too much. The AI's incompetence might actually lose it for them here because they should be going around and taking as many battles as possible. <laughs> nice. They should be going around taking as many battles as possible and then sieging. Oh, six, five, four. That's what we need. That's what we need. Watch this, watch this. He's a, he's a three, six. He is actually better than our current general. <laughs> I thought it'd be funny if I was disappointed, but no. I mean, my truth that I tie is up. <laughs> That's what got me into this mess. I'm assuming my aggressive expansion is still, yeah, it's still ridiculously high. Now, why would you lock in with low morale right next to me? I feel like that was a dumb... Dis Whoa, actually, he's duped me. I think it's an interesting lesson, because I think I would have expanded quicker if I didn't have the war score cost, because I wouldn't have taken so much. Come on, 35%, please. Oh my god, this siege has taken so long. This must be an outlier. What? What is this? How is it still... How am I not... Getting the siege? What are the odds of this? How many times? 657 days. And most of that was spent positive... Stupid game. What's that? The same goddamn coalition? And revoke that core, why not? Thank you. We can upgrade our government rank. That's nice. We're now a holy state. With arquebusiers. Ah, <sighs> oh, for God's sake. Had to do it. Alright, now we need to race down south. Honestly, I think I should just keep the um, free company as a permanent fixture. I don't know why I keep on dismissing them. Alright, we're gonna go in. They really don't want to fight me. That's ideal. We are gonna split up to try and siege some land back. 
Because this is sort of the main issue we're having. Right, we have 18% and there are... Oh, no. 26%. They are on medium. So there is a chance. Because if we can get one little battle off. Alright, they're on 0% over there. But even if they're 29% and medium, that's fine. I can still take most of their nation. That works for me. <laughs> it's so useful because I don't have to win, like, 100%. I just have to get just enough war score. I'm gonna cancel our tributary arrangement with Ming, I think. It's uh, no longer advantageous. I think the truce with this lot is about to end. I think it just did. That was the coalition that actually fired on me. Malacan separatists. Oh god, there's so many separatists. What's more of extension? Oh, 102%. Sweet. Yeah, I... <laughs> I'm hearing, getting sick of hearing that sound. I get it. People are upset. Wah. Oh god. Yep, there's a coalition. I think I'd surrender if they fired. I don't have the, the willpower. Or the energy to fight this. Oh, please force them to pay. I need the money. Oh, Splendor. That's nice. What should we get? I know. Aggressive expansion impact minus 10%. <laughs> On the bright side, there really aren't that many rebels left. Because they're all dead. <laughs> They've been killed several times over. Note me intentionally not looking at our overextension or our loan situation. Oh. There's no more rebels that can physically spawn. Paradox has thrown everything they have at me. I'm a broken man at this point. All right. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to bankruptcy time. Is it the same guys who declared it? It is. This time with Lanzhang and Co. Time to end this empire. Yes. That's where we're at right now. That's what's where the mentality the, of the team is, a, is at. Oh, okay. Put it to the treasury, please. Oh, please put it to the treasury. I desperately need that money. Guess we're becoming Theravada, boys. We are gonna wait until... Go on, go on, take... Yeah, go, go take back your capital. Good idea. Good idea. I'll happily defend in the mountains or the hills, whatever it is. Thank you. Yeah, no, lock in. By all means. This See this lot? If I kill these 5k, they don't come back. I'm gonna wait to see if they get a, uh, a bad tick. If it goes positive, I've got to do it. All right. That's a nice little win there. Hire him immediately for a great project. Up, up. What economy do you think I'm running here? Okay, can I just accept your demands? No, oh, I can't because then I'd become Theravada. Oh, you're objectively cheaper. All right. I have to buy more mercenaries because otherwise I would go Theravada. And I can't afford that. Defeat the religious rebels. And let's march onwards. How much are we losing per month? 12 ducats. Gain of mercantilism. Brilliant. That's a stack wipe. Oh man, notice how like the smile has been removed from my face. <laughs> it replaced with a pale imitation of one. I am so sick of war <laughs> in this stupid game. How are you still on high? Wang Fuang military strength. Okay, let's let's target his troops. Not the time to lose a stability. Lose 10 army tradition. <laughs> I, I hate this game. Right, surely you want to peace out. Okay. Okay. We've survived. We're alive. We're losing 30 ducats a month. I don't know how we're alive. I, this is such a scuffed, broken nation. Well, boys, in my opinion, there's only one place we can go to get gold. Oh, boy. <laughs> we need the money. It's our only hope of survival. We're not getting out of this debt spiral. The only way is to steal money from Ming. All right. Last ditch effort. That's two ducats a month we'll save there. Now let's go take as much money as we can from Ming. I'm just hoping he's dealing with other things right now. He's not. He's dealing with us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Rebels have to rise up right there, huh? You could have picked a better... They're in my land. Oh, God. I'm just gonna have to hope they just don't attack this 8k. There is literally zero reason for them to not attack it. I'm just gonna hope that they don't. Please, for everything, it's holy. Win the 7%. That could have been great. That could have been a really good moment for me. I just got 44,000 men just staring at me, man. <laughs> Why are they not attacking him? <laughs> oh my god. It's not even relief, it's just confusion. I mean, Ming are on medium. <laughs> just gonna march in here whilst they're distracted. Don't know how this is happening. My money's going down because I'm paying off loans. So I've got eight loans. And I can have up to 21. So I'm actually not as close to bankruptcy as I thought. 
We'll scorch the earth around the areas, so we should have plenty of time to go and fight them. I'm just going to keep picking up war score. This is going surprisingly well. Right, let's hold for a second. 20,000 men. I think we should be okay to fight that. Okay. They have poor uniforms. And what tech are they on? Four. They're on Miltech four. Oh, Miltech six. This is good for us. Their morale is so low. They're on low. They're just on low. Wait, they're on low. Thirty-three percent war score. Just ignore the fact that we're about to be killed by a coalition. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. It's fine. Now I can't remember if Holy War Caspella is capped at th at forty um, war score for battles. Because right now we have thirty-nine. Oh, that's unfortunate for you, buddy, isn't it? Where are you going? They're going to Yunnan. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Is it capped at forty? It is hard capped at forty. Okay. Which means this is probably the best we're going to get, unless we... Hmm. So we're wondering, Leith, what can we get for our 58% worth of, uh, of war score against Ming? Well, obviously, ordinarily, you'd take 25% uh, worth of ducats, which we desperately need. But I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> Welcome, boys. We're suffering 655 aggressive expansion. Um, I think we're the number one great power. <laughs> we just became the number one great power. Go on, join a coalition against us. Go for it. See what happens. Uh, we're also going to die to rebellions because our overextension is sort of 700%. I can consolidate all this development, though. Uh, and all of that puts our capital as uh, a 51 development province. <laughs> Obviously, there is no hope on Earth of us fighting any of this. Well, actually, 50,000 troops. And they can only sort of make me do this. Obviously, each time I can take a lot of world school worth of, uh, of provinces, but they can only make me do a certain amount with it. So, I think I'm still winning. So, even if I lost to this coalition, I'd still have most of China. Anyway, boys, I think that's uh, where we'll, we'll call this video. Do let me know if you enjoyed the video in the comments down below, and make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to all our supporters on Patreon. Most notably, JDow52, Cargon, Flyerton, and Henrique. Your support means a lot, guys. And uh, whilst you're here, you know, you could just click on this next video. It's right in front of you.